Welcome to the video lessons for today. I'm going to discuss about buying and selling of goods and services. So our learning objective is to solve problems involving buying and selling of goods and services. So in business, in order for you to earn is you need to buy something. Like for example, in creating product, you are going to buy raw materials or you are going to buy a finished goods and you sell it for you to earn an income. So in business, Para kumita ka sa product na binili mo, ay lalagyan mo ng markup or tubo para kumita ka. For example, kapag bibili ka ng isang box ng face mask worth of 100 pesos at ibebenta mo ng 150 pesos, ay kikita ka ng 50 pesos per box. So, I know that you have a knowledge about selling and buying. So, that's why this topic is basic. So, proceed tayo sa supply chain management. So, when we say Supply chain management, it is the coordination of manufacturer, suppliers, and retailers working together to meet a customer needs for a products or services. Siyempre, in every distribution, mayroon palaging markup. Kay manufacturer, ibibigay niya ang product kay wholesaler or house warehouse or wholesaler Tama. na mayroong patong or kita. Ganon din si wholesaler. Ibibenta niya kay retailer na may patong or kita. At ganun din si retailer, ibebenta niya yung product na yun na mas mahal para kumita siya. So for example, kapag bibili ka ng shampoo sa tindahan, ganito ang distribution na yan. mag start tayo kay manufacturer. So kay manufacturer, gagawa siya ng product ang magagastos niya sa isang shampoo ay 2 pesos and 50 centavos. So ibebenta niya yan ng 3 pesos. So, magkakaroon siya ng markup na 50 centavos. Ibebenta niya yan kay wholesaler. Kay wholesaler, ang cost niya sa pagbili ng product ay 3 pesos. At ibebenta niya yan kay retail retailer ng 4 pesos. So, meron siyang tutubuin or markup na 1 pesos. Ganon din ang mangyari kay retailer. Bibilihin niya yung shampoo na 4 pesos. At ibebenta niya ng 5 pesos and 75 centavos. So, tutubo siya ng 1 peso and 75 centavos. At pagdating kay consumer, bibilihin niya na lang yung shampoo ng 7 pesos. So, di manufacturer, gumagawa ng product. Si wholesaler, yung taga-angkat na maramihan, i-distribute niya kay retailer sa mga market, hanggang sa mga tindahan, hanggang sa umabot sa iyo na consumer. Intindihan po. So, here's the formula of profit and loss. So, start tayo kay profit. Kay profit, ito yung formula. Profit is equals to selling price minus cost price. So, paano naman kapag ang hinahanap ay profit rate or percentage? So, we use the profit percent formula, which is selling price minus cost price over or divide by cost price. So, ganun din kay loss. Kay loss, cost price minus selling price and then kapag percentage na naman din ang hinahanap natin loss or loss percent is equals to cost price minus selling price over cost price so for example number one Cardo bought Bangus worth of 4,800 in Lagupan market and he sell it in Manila with selling price of 7,000 pesos how much is markup rate so step one Identify what is being asked and what are the given. So, in this problem, we're looking for markup. So, after natin ilagay yung markup or yung hinahat natin na sa given problem, ilalagay natin naman ang given. So, the selling price is 7,000 pesos and the cost price is 4,800 pesos and the markup is the questions. So, I know this is a basic, yeah, but we need to discuss this because for you to able to understand the topic. So, in step 2, identify the mathematical equation. So, we use the profit is equals to selling price minus cost price. So, selling price is 7,000 pesos and the cost price is 4,800. So, 7,000 minus 4,800 is equals to 2,200 pesos. So, therefore, the markup of Cardo is sell in selling of bangus in Manila is 2,200. So, another example, number 2. 
Cardo got bang was worth of 4,800 in the coupon market and he sell it in Manila with selling price of 7,000 pesos. How much is the markup rate? So sa question na ito, ang hinahanap ay markup rate. So ilalagay natin na yung mga given which is selling price is 7,000, cost price is 4,800 and the markup rate is the questions ang hinahanap natin. So step 2, identify the mathematical equation which is we use the profit percent is equals to selling price minus cost price over cost price so transpose or substitute so selling price is 7000 cost price is 4800 and over 4800 so 7000 minus 4800 over 4800 is equals to 0 0.4583 or 45.83 centavos so therefore, the markup rate is 45.83%. Another example. Cardo got ham worth of 8,500 in the coupon market and they sell it in lower price of 6,000 pesos because there is a news about ASF or African swine fever. So how much is the loss? So sa question na ito, dahil nagkaroon ng African swine fever na news, balita, na lahat daw ng mga baboy ay may sakit or hindi pwedeng kainin. So, nahirapan siya na ibenta yung product. So, yung binili niya yung product ng 8,500 at ibibenta niya na lang yun ng 6,000 para lang mabenta niya. At, ma or makuha niya yung pinambili niya. So, in the given, the selling price is 6,000, the cost price is 8,500. So, ang hinahanap natin dito ay loss dahil nalugi siya. So we use the mathematical equation which is loss is equals to cost price minus selling price. So substitute cost price is 8500 minus selling price of 6000 is equals to 2500. So therefore, he lost of 2200 in selling of goods and services or bangus or ham in the market. Nalugi siya ng 2200 pesos. So in conclusion, for you to earn profit, you need to add the markup always. Also think wisely the product that you want to sell, if it is liquid, feasible, and marketable, to lessen the risk and at the same time, the loss. So pipiliin natin palagi kung ano yung mga product na kailangan natin ibenta. Isipin natin kung yung product ba na ibenta natin ay madaling maibenta or hindi. Kung kailangan ba ito ng mga consumers, mga customers natin, or mga target market natin. Yan. Kailangan natin i-consider mga yan para maiwasan natin ang risk or loss para hindi tayo malugi sa mga business na or ibibenta natin mga products. So, I hope you understand the lessons and thank you for watching.